Hello from Neverland, I'm Miss Neverbird and welcome to my channel. For this video, I will be talking about a book I finished recently. If you actually reread it in the past, I skipped to a particular part I was planning to do. But this time, I chose to actually read and take in all parts of the story. And I did not regret this one bit. You know those times that you read the right books at the right time? Valley of Horses was such a book for me. Other cases of deaths happening to me include Eat, Pray, Love, which was a game changer for me. A book I reviewed called The Insightful Reader, and I'd rather be reading by Anne Bogle, which I recommend to any bibliophile. As a person who loves anthropology, history, and spirituality, The Valley of Horses was quite a surprise for me when I reread it again after some time, but what a read it was. In previous readings, I was more focused on Ola's story, but this time around, I was more invested in the second protagonist's storyline, John the Law. To my delighted surprise, I discovered that the book contained some rather prominent spiritual themes and elements in a time where early man had a strong connection to the world around them, as well as a deeper connection to the underlying forces of the Ice Age. This can be seen in their, in their respect for the Earth and in their high regard for the Great Earth Mother and their theologies. From both an anthropological and spiritual perspective, I found myself enjoying the story more than I, quite more than I thought that I would. I would. What I enjoyed in, the, in, in this book was John Law Ayla being used by the author as a sort of narrative device to show what made us so successful as a species, and in this series, they act as a sort of bridge between the Ice Age Homo sapiens and us. The difficult but simple lifestyle of early Homo sapiens is quite intriguing to me in contrast to the quite complicated world we live in today. John Law seems to be the ideal romance interest found in romance stories, but from what I understand, this type of language was quite different in the time when the Valley Forces was published in the 80s. But what caught my interest in him is that like Ayla, he seemed to be an unusual individual and seemed to be one is known as a highly sensitive person because he experiences and feels everything so deeply. In other words, he's a twin flame to Ella. John Law and Ella are both highly individu gifted individuals, chosen by the universe, or in this case, the Great Earth Mother, on each, and are each other's twin flames, where together and separately, they each have a special purpose in the next stage of man's journey. The exploration of the human conditions with themes such as racism and prejudice. There is also quite a Quite a diversity in the characters as well in terms of sexuality, genders and race. People are more open-minded and there are some appearances of same-sex circles in this universe, as well as non-binary, transient and transgender individuals. The research behind the series is amazing from an from paleoanthropology, psychology, paleontology and the ecological and geographical landscape of Asage Europe and Eurasia. The different cultures that are involved due to the environment and the development of their religion and how it shapes the people's psychology and culture is amazing. Through the course of the series, you can see how a culture changes after new knowledge is brought in and beliefs and prejudices are challenged. The big part the Danube River plays in this universe, the Neanderthal plastic is also quite fascinating, especially the collective memory, but also the concept that Neanderthals can't learn new things beyond what they already know. Spiritual animals, which includes the cave lions and spiritual leaders. This was my take on the Earth's Children series, starting with the Valley of Horses. For me, it serves as a turning point in the series, as the events of the story that play, played out will have significant effects on the rest of the series as it goes on, and the world the characters live in, changing humanity forever. Also, one last note. The concept of sexuality starts to become more significant as both characters close past. And this takes quite a while, only three quarters into the book. But the series itself has, from the start, has contained quite mature themes, so please be aware of that as sexuality and gender seem to be quite a significant themes of the series. If you like something in this video, I invite you to please like and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell for future content. If you have any questions, please comment down below about the experiences you have had with this series and your take on it. And I would love to hear from you about which books had a significant impact on your life. I'm Miss Neverbird, and always remember to have a little faith, trust, and pixie dust. Bye!